our channel, we're doing a series of reviews of children's development toys and STEM toys. Today, we're reviewing Lego Duplo Steam Train. This model is known as 10874 in the catalog. It has 59 pieces and is recommended for ages 2 to 5. The main components of this set includes a train track, the train, the train station, a tree with a squirrel, and some construction equipment. A special feature of the set are these uh, five action bricks, which we will talk about in more detail. This set comes with an instruction book, which gives a step-by-step -step detail on how to build the track and its components. It also comes with an overview of the train, its batteries, and how it interacts with the app. Okay, so now let's look at the train itself, at the locomotive. Uh, so the locomotive at the bottom has the battery compartment, has the wheels, has the uh, green button and couple of sensors. The battery compartment is protected with two screws, meaning that uh, the child cannot access the batteries and cannot get electric shock now unless he knows how to use the screwdriver. Green button is used to operate the tray. In addition to it, there are two small dots uh, one of them is LED light and the other one is uh, color sensor. Uh, that color sensor uh, is used to identify the color of the action bricks as the train passes uh, over them. Let's now turn on the train like that, and see how it moves. Let's put the train to the tracks and just push it since it has push and go mode. And so the local starts moving. Stopping the train is also easy, you just need to put the hand and it stops automatically. So when the train collides into some sort of obstacle, it is made in such a way to stop and not to keep bumping the obstacle. Another easy way to stop the train is just to lift it away from the tracks. And you can see when the front wheels, where there is a sensor, stopped rotating, uh, then the main wheels, which are the back wheels, uh, stop rotating as well, so the motor shuts down automatically. What are action bricks? They are these small pieces of Lego equipment which make the train take a certain actions after the train passes over those bricks. So for example, uh, let's start with this white piece. So this white piece can toggle the lights, meaning that when the train passes over this white brick, it will either turn on or turn off its headlights. Now the yellow piece makes the train produce the sound, something like hoo-hoo, when the train passes over it. Uh, more interesting are these three other bricks. Uh, the red one is normally used uh, at the end of the tracks or when you need to stop the train completely. Uh, the blue one with this small drop or water sign uh, means that the train will stop temporarily, for example, to put more water since this uh, locomotive is supposed to be a steam train in real life they do get filled with water. And then finally the, um, the green brick, uh, as you can see here with those two arrows, can make the train change directions, so it goes backwards. Or forwards if it go was going backwards before. Now let's see how these bricks operate in practice. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the train on by pressing the green button and waiting for the sound. So. And then I will launch the train as usually from push and go. Sound. Turn on light. Temporary stop. And the full stop. So the train arrives, stops, and then reverses its direction. It can arrive over the green block, stops, 
and reverse the direction. So this is the application that allows you also to control this uh, train via app through Bluetooth. So how to do it? First of all, we will launch the application. We choose either the cargo train or the steam train. In this case, it is steam train. Then you choose train plus app if you have the train. You turn on following the instructions. You turn on the train like this. And it, it is connecting. Make sure your Bluetooth is on before doing these procedures. So now you can see that the app shows you the driver with several abilities to control interface. For example, you can shift this joystick to the right and the train, as you can see, starts moving. Then I put it again to the center and the train stops moving. Also, what can be done uh, I can turn here the light button and the train's lights will light up. So for example, I'm pressing the light button again and then the color changes to orange, yellow, uh, blue, green, purple. Also from the app you can make the train produce sounds and this is already the train is producing, not the phone. You can also make the train go backwards and slightly change the speed of the train. But there are only two speed levels uh, and no more than that. So this is full speed, this is half speed and this is stop. You can put uh, choose steam train, then app only. And in this case the app lets you play with the train like a small game, even if you don't have the uh, actual toy. What I like about this train is that it is really a STEM toy which uh, develops or which starts developing the initial uh, skills of programming. For example, the child can put uh, the brick on the railway and then uh, he will understand that at that particular place where the brick is placed, uh, the train does certain action. So the child knows that he can do some action and he can therefore program the train to do another action. What I don't particularly like about the train is that it cannot turn off itself. So in order to turn it off, you need to press the green button. Uh, otherwise, the train keeps consuming the energy from the batteries which will lead to a very short battery life. It cannot be moved manually without an engine. It would be nice to have some feature when the child can push it as a normal train uh, without using the engine, because my daughter, being two and a half, does not yet understand how to use action brakes and she prefers to pull the train as a manual toy. So on the website of lego.com now you can see that this train is normally sold at uh, $65, however the delivery is in about 6 days, which means that probably LEGO has run out of stock. Amazon has currently also run out of stock surprisingly and the other sellers now offer this uh, product at a substantially bigger price than the LEGO recommended retail price. However, when Amazon gets this uh, set back into stock, it's likely that the price will go back to normal. Or even at the period of sales, you can buy it for as low as $50, how I managed to grab it about a month ago. The price per piece ratio is about $1 if we divide 65 by, by 59 pieces. So actually more than $1, which makes the set uh, to be quite expensive relative to each piece. However, if you take into account that one of those pieces is actually a programmable uh, locomotive module with its own electronic sensors, uh, that price I think is justified because the child gets fully playable set you know, with the working train and some elements of programming. This is the cheapest uh, train with uh, action brakes. Uh, at least it is much cheaper than LEGO Duplo Cargo Train and of course much cheaper than LEGO Education Duplo Coding Express where the children can already code using the application. The child will get much more fun if you buy it with extension. 
for example, this extension uh, 10882, about which we are going to make a separate review a little later, you'll get much more uh, fun for the child because there will be a real extension with which you can now form actually two circles instead of one and those nice barriers that will uh, allow the child to play with uh, the cars crossing the railway. There is also another extension which is a ramp or the train bridge which you can also order in Amazon and extend the railway. Would we recommend buying this set? Yes, we definitely would, uh, since for relatively small money of $65 and sometimes even less than that, uh, you can get a fully playable set as well as uh, the coding elements which develops the child's uh, understanding of actions and results uh, and uh, further prepare him for the, his first coding. Please subscribe to our channel, not to miss any new STEM toy reviews and other interesting videos. And thank you for watching. Please comment what you liked or didn't like in this video, so that our future videos get even better.